road to GH will reveal exciting developments over the next two weeks from October 14 to October 25, 2014. First, Isaiah has spent much time reflecting on Laura's offer of help. Though it has been a long time since he performed any surgery, the current situation has made him reconsider his capabilities. In the past, he was a talented doctor, but for personal reasons, he gave up the operating room in the busy life of a surgeon. However, today, Isaiah decides to do something meaningful in his life. He will perform a liver transplant for Lulu, the person Laura loves and worries about deeply. This decision is not only a turning point in Isaiah's life, but also a great hope for Laura. Knowing that Isaiah has agreed to help Lulu lifts a huge burden from Laura's heart. She is not only overjoyed that Lulu has a chance to be saved, but also deeply grateful for Isaiah's brave and compassionate act. Isaiah's return to the scalpel not only saves Lulu's life, but also brings him peace, as if he has rediscovered the meaning of life and why he became a doctor in the first place. Isaiah's determination and actions have ignited a spark of hope for both Laura and Lulu. Now all they can do is wait for the success of the surgery and trust that this will be a new beginning, not only for Lulu, but also for Isaiah and Laura. Second, Rick is not simply keeping his promise to Curtis. He seems to have meticulously planned to protect Curtis's family from potential dangers. When approaching Brad, Rick skillfully uses persuasive words emphasizing that hiding the truth is necessary to prevent Curtis's family from being harmed. Brad, already under pressure, is gradually convinced by Rick, agreeing to keep everything secret despite knowing the truth could lead to serious consequences. However, what Curtis never expected is that Rick holds a secret that could change everything. During his investigation and information gathering, Rick discovers that Portia, Curtis's wife, whom he has always trusted, secretly altered Heather's test results. Portia's goal is not just to cover up a mistake, but also to shift the blame to Brad, making him the scapegoat in this power game. She knows that if the truth comes out, Brad will be the first to be suspected and held responsible for everything. When Rick reveals this information to Curtis, it is not only a mental shock, but also forces Curtis to confront betrayal from his most beloved. Curtis will be forced to choose between facing the harsh truth about Portia or continuing to live in the lies she has created. Furthermore, blaming Brad could lead to more serious consequences, making it impossible for Curtis to ignore. This creates an extremely tense situation, forcing Curtis to confront a series of difficult decisions that could change his entire life and relationships. Third, Tracy could not contain her anger when she saw that Brooke Lynn seemed to be overly concerned about Violet. In Tracy's opinion, the only person responsible for caring for and worrying about Violet's recent condition should be Chase. And more importantly, Chase should inform Finn Violet's father about the negative signs the little girl is experiencing. With her strong and decisive personality, Tracy cannot accept Brooklyn's interference in Violet's life without consulting Finn or Chase. The confrontation between Tracy and Brooklyn is tense, as Tracy criticizes Brooklyn for overstepping boundaries, accusing her of meddling in something that doesn't concern her. However, Brooklyn does not back down and candidly explains her reasoning. Brooklyn reveals that she truly cares for Violet from the bottom of her heart, not because she wants to replace anyone, but simply because she feels close to the girl and wants to protect her during this difficult time. Brooklyn's sincere confession slows Tracy down and makes her think. Tracy, who is usually a steadfast woman, rarely softens easily, but seeing Brooklyn's genuine care for Violet moves her. Tracy realizes that Brooklyn's love for Violet is not just a fleeting concern, but comes from true affection. Although still somewhat uncomfortable, Tracy cannot deny that Brooklyn's presence has brought great comfort and help to Violet, something Chase might not realize at the moment. Ultimately, Tracy is forced to acknowledge that Brooklyn also holds an important place in Violet's life. These complex emotions make Tracy understand that sometimes love does not only come from blood relatives, but can also come from those who genuinely care and want the best. For the ones they love. Lastly, Alexis entered the courtroom with tense emotions, knowing that her fate would be decided in today's trial. She had been dragged into the case of John's death, an event that turned her life upside down, 
Everyone was watching Alexis's every move, not knowing what would happen next. However, Alexis always believed in the law and knew that the truth would soon be revealed. When new evidence about an unidentified gun was presented in court, a new ray of hope lit up within Alexis. This gun, previously unverified, was the key element that could turn the situation around. The evidence showed that the gun was not linked to Alexis but instead belonged to someone else. This event completely overturned the case as there was no longer any valid reason to convict her of John's death. This sudden change made the atmosphere in the courtroom even tenser. Alexis's defense attorney used this evidence to prove her innocence, showing Owen that she had been drawn into a situation beyond her control. Every word and argument brought forward clarified Alexis's innocence. The prosecutor could not deny the obvious truth before them. Finally, the judge declared Alexis free. These words echoed throughout the courtroom, making her feel relieved and liberated after many days of tension. Alexis not only regained her freedom, but also proved that she had always stood on the side of truth. Everyone witnessed this moment, and Alexis, with a firm mindset, walked out of the courthouse, ready for a new chapter in her life after overcoming this ordeal.